Well, spring is traditionally a busy time in real estate, and tomorrow marks the second weekend of the season. Uh, SBS finance editor Ricardo Gonsalves joins us now, and Ricardo, some markets are actually weakening. Anton, clearance rates are down in some cities around the country, but that's little comfort to some buyers who think the market is too expensive. That's led many to consider should they buy or should they rent. Robert Texira is contemplating whether he should buy a place to live in or continue to rent. When I look at renting, if I'm going to pay $500 a week or $550 a week, that to me is the repayment on a loan. He's been looking at new one-bedroom apartments in Sydney's inner west but isn't sold and what he's seen so far. I'm actually swinging a bit more towards renting mainly because I, I can't find anything that I would want to buy that I would be comfortable living in in the price range that I'm looking for. Space is a big issue. There's, there's very little storage facilities in there. The floor space is meant to be as compact as possible in order to maximise the number of apartments you put on there. And he feels there's an element of false advertising. There's a lot of stuff that I'm looking at which are one bedroom, which which they claim to be one bedroom, bedroom apartments, but I would just claim is, is a studio that's got a, a partition wall put in. Experts say it's a case of buyer beware as developers rush to tap into a hot market. It really does put the pressure on developers to try to get as much bang for their buck, and that's what we see with smaller development sizes and maybe some issues to do with quality. Sellers, meanwhile, are gearing themselves up for another bumper weekend. Most capital city markets are recording uh, near record numbers of auction activity, uh, strengthening clearance rates. The Perth market is weakening though and clearance rates in Sydney have declined. And we're actually starting to see some maybe weaker results in the outer suburban areas of Sydney to the west and the southwest. Now that may be a reflection of less investor activity. Of course we've had those higher interest rates for investors. Rates comparison site Mozo says 16 lenders have increased rates and loans to investors in the past month. Those increases average 27 basis points. But owner occupiers are winning, with 12 lenders making cuts to loans averaging 12 basis points. The banks are 100% focused on attracting owner occupiers that right now. That means lower interest rates, it means more cash back upfront incentives. Good news for those who are ready to buy.